Hello everybody, this is Thomas Winnie's Life, and I know it's not exactly my birthday, but we got some uh, birthday gifts to unbox. I'm really excited. I've had to look at this for almost two weeks. My brother Jason knows what I've been going through, so we're going to finally open this. This one actually came in today, so let's unbox this one first. And most of this is going to be on camera, except for the assembly of this big box right here. Alright. Holy, this is a big box. And there we go. Okay. Ugh, Lord. Oh, this is Edward. Okay. This is Edward in here. Ugh. Wow, look at that, guys. We got Wooden Railway Edward. This is surprising. Oh my gosh. He, Edward looks so surreal in person. Okay. We're going to have to get this guy out. So I'm going to jump cut and I'll see you guys when he's open. Alright. We got Edward out and boy does Edward look funky. <laughs> Edward looks so cool and weird at the same time. So um, what do I think of Edward? He looks really nice. He's got the accurate wheel configuration. He suffers from the scared face syndrome that some of these engines have. Uh, Gordon over here for an example. Um, he somewhat has the same thing as James, except he looks a little bit weirder, in my opinion. Um, the tender has this little thing to like acknowledge the door, um, which is kind of weird. It said Edward's tender on the bottom. And it's got the firebox glow detail, which is all better to be honest it's got the dome and the funnel and he did come with ow he did come with a pamphlet so let's see if this is yeah this is the wave two one okay this is the english one because i'm not trying to repeat the incident with the paint truck where it had the japanese one so let's put edward right there now let's get on to the next big box so i'm also i'm still gonna record it on camera because why not um Oh god. Alright. There we go. I'm praying to god I don't destroy Cranky because Cranky is my current prop. And yep. Um oh my gosh, we got Percy right there. And we got Henry. So we'll open Henry first. So let me move this box onto the ground. Motorist fan, here you go. He's gonna have fun with that. Um, here's Henry with the Stop. thing. And wow, he looks great. So we'll jump cut and we'll get Henry out of the box. All right, we got Henry out and this is really accurate to the CGI because Gordon's missing a back wheel, but that's with all the models. But Henry looks really accurate. That face looks like his CGI persona and Overall, it's really good. He has ribbits, which he doesn't have in the show. I mean, I'm okay with that. I like extra detail. So, that has been Henry. Let us open uh, the little engine himself, uh, Percy. Again with these boxes. Wow, he looks nice. Um, same thing. He, he should come with the pamphlet. We'll see if it's different. Henry also comes with the pamphlet, but it's pretty much the same. So, let's open Percy. All right, Percy is out, and like I said with Edward, he suffers from the scared face syndrome, but the, the, this Percy looks nice. The coal bunker's nice. Overall, he's a nice model compared to Thomas over there. Um, he's got an, he actually doesn't share the same um, wheel, um, like the same chassis as Thomas. The firebox glow is nice, the ribbits is, are nice. And he, Percy's a really nice model, um, he did come with the checklist, and it is the Wave 1 checklist. I got most of the engines, except, like, Kevin, Diesel, and Rebecca. I don't know if I'll get Kevin, but, um, yeah, overall, it's nice. Now, let's get in to this big one. Alright, so we're gonna do the big reveal. This set is... There you have it, guys. Natford Station. Now, in my hunt video, 
I showed you guys that I found this at Barnes & Noble in person. And now we got it. And now with my trusty scissors, let's do this. Alright, now I've opened the box and it comes with this instruction thing with screws, which I will put on later. Um, and it does have all the stuff. Does this have... Yeah, it has that. The playability, which I will obviously don't need. Um, yeah, this is a wave one thing. Um, the figure eight star set, which I'm never gonna get. Tin sheds, which I'm definitely not getting. And the truck pack I maybe get. It's a world of adventure. So, I can't do this one-handed, so we're gonna jump cut again. Alright, so here is Natford Station out of the box, and my god, this is a big station. Like... This is the size of my hand, and that's how big this is. Like, like my entire hand can fit through the first two platforms. That's really something. Um, the Indian Clarabelle in this, yeah, they have a gimmick, but these are my only Annie and Clarabels for Win Rally, so I'm obviously gonna cherish them for years to come. Um, we have these slide pieces. First one has people in Annie and or Clarabelle. And then this one's with the nighttime with a very nice stylized of a uh, Percy that we just unboxed with Nat for car, which we will look in a little bit. Um, and that's when we got luggage in the daytime, and then luggage in the daytime with uh, wind, I guess. Um, we got another one with luggage at night, and then rain, and then we have another one with people. And on the other side, they're on a bench. And the people are stylized in All Engines Go, which I'm personally okay with that. And then we have the last one, which is the Alan Sodor map, which is pretty cool. And then this one, which has like a Thomas magazine on it or something. And then it has the original Dolby illustrations from the Railway Series. It says Thomas the Tank Engine 1945. Yeah, 1945. So, these slides can be used for a lot of things. Um, I can put them in Annie and Clarabo. Sadly, there's only two people ones. So, you'd have to put luggage in the others. And, as Thomas Talk said, there's only one luggage within the daytime. So, the other one you're going to have to put at night. Or the rain, somehow. And then this... You you want to put the Alan Sora map in Annie, okay. I'm going to put that there because it looks right. Um, I'm going to push that there. The cargo car, yeah, it's all plastic, but I mean, it's cool. This is my only cargo car in Wind Railway. Oh, wait, I just realized that I have the Charleston truck and Mia's car. So, <laughs> this ain't exactly my first car. So, we're going to show the gimmick. We're gonna take the slide out of Carlo. So we're gonna take this, and you can open the door for that. And you're gonna take this up here, and then put that in there. Then somehow this truck is able to move all the way over there. You put it in here, and you pull this lever right here, and it basically sends it out for some reason. And then you can just put it there. Um, the gimmick is pretty okay in my opinion. It's nothing crazy. Um, you got wood adapters. You got two of them this time. Somehow. Um, and yeah, overall, this is a really nice, um, set. This is my only win rally, Natford. So, uh, of course, like I said with Danny and Carbo, I'm gonna cherish it forever. Um, here's Thomas with Danny and Carbo, and my gosh, does it feel... Do I feel happy officially having an Annie and Clarabo with Thomas? Um, do, does he fit around, like, the tight curves? Let's see. Works perfectly. Um, big engines like Henry? Let's see. It works. It's actually very nice. It works perfectly. Now let's test the medium gauge. Now you may be wondering, what's the medium gauge? Mia, let us test. Um, let me move Henry to that track. Wow, Mia's move on there. Wow. Um, 
the switches the switches are in clickety clack track which i'm okay with it um i'm all right i'm not a it's not a big deal so yeah that has been my review on the wooden railway henry edward and percy and of course the nafford station thank you all so much for watching tomorrow's my birthday and there will be a mini video for my birthday and all of this will be coming with me um all the engines over there over here everywhere um as well as a little bit of track so thank you all for watching and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye everyone